Hey everyone, this is Tony from Pocket Now. We are here in Berlin at the Samsung Galaxy Note event and we are taking a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 just announced today and we're going to compare it with the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, probably many people's go-to tablet. Okay, so right from the beginning you can see that the dimensions, the physical dimensions of these two tablets, I hate the word tablets but we have to use it, are the same. Samsung, however, emphasized on the fact that the Note 3 has a larger screen than the Note 2, and which is, which is true, 5.5 inches on the Note 2 versus 5.7 inches on the Note 3. And now, under the hood, there's a lot of changes. We have an Exynos 4 quad-core processor on the good old Galaxy Note 2 versus two processor options on the Note 3, depending on the region. If you're in an LTE region, you're going to most definitely get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 800 processor clocked at 2.3 gigahertz, or if you are in a 3G area, you're going to get the Exynos 5 octa-core processor, which is really a dual quad-core processor with two pairs of processors rolling in pairs. In terms of memory, the RAM amount on the Note 2 is 2 gigabytes, while 3 gigabytes exist on the Note 3. And that's pretty much it in terms of raw hardware, but if you flip it to the back, there's a considerable change and spec bump in the camera. We have an 8 megapixel camera here on the good old Note 2 and a 13 megapixel camera on the Note 3. Plus, some versions will be able to deliver 4K video recording capabilities. And while we're here at the back, we know we complained about hyperglaze, but now I'm starting to miss it because this phone right here, even though this has the flip cover, S view cover, I should say, it covers up the back, but the back behind the cover is also leather. And you can see the stitching right there. It's available in multiple colors, and as Michael mentioned in the hands-on video. So if you like hyperglaze, you will uh, probably miss it. If not, leather is the new hyperglaze. Getting back here, there's also a change in the new stylus. And I'm gonna try to compare these two and hopefully we can get a focus on it. The Note 2 stylus, the black one, is thicker while the Note 3 stylus is somewhat more oval. I'm not sure if you can capture that on camera. We have a more triangle shape here on the black one, while this one is more oval. It's also more lightweight and it's easier to work with. Samsung emphasizes on the fact that this is the key that unlocks your tablet. As far as software is concerned, this version here is the AT&T version and unfortunately it's running Android 4.1.2 but the Note 3 will be shipping with Android 4.3 out of the box, which is the latest version. So that's a really, really, really quick glance at the Note 3 compared to the Note 2. We'll have much more on the Note 2 while here in Berlin. I've been Anton. Thank you very much for watching. Michael Fisher behind the camera. Thanks for recording. Stay tuned to Pocket Now for more.